Uh, I want to welcome you. I'm Wes Bullington. I'm the band director here at Spring Valley High School. And uh, thanks for coming out to our all-county band concert. And uh, I think tonight you're going to have an uh, enjoyable time. There's a lot of great music you're going to hear. And these guys, have, both bands, have worked hard to pass uh, this week. So uh, I'm going to ask, uh, we're going to get started with our middle school band. And I'm going to introduce our uh, person and have our conductor introduced. So this is Miss Dilly, and she's going to introduce our middle school band conductor. Chapman Cook is from Lincoln County, where she lives with her husband and work colleague, David Cook. Together, the Cooks make up the music department at Lincoln County High School. Their son, Caleb, currently lives in Fort Worth, Texas, where he attends Texas A&M School of Law. Mrs. Cook earned her bachelor and master's degrees in music education from Marshall University. She has been teaching in Lincoln County schools for 35 years. Her bands have consistently earned superior ratings for concert band and numerous marching band awards as well. Mrs. Cook is also active in her church where she serves as treasurer and teaches children's classes. Please welcome Miss Kimberly Cook.
Mandalorian. <laughs> it's kind of like Thanksgiving dinner, you know, it takes such a long time to make it, but not very long to eat it. Well, the same thing, we're almost finished with our part of the program. They've worked so hard and so long, and thank you guys. I want to thank all of you, parents and family and teachers and everybody. Thank you for sharing your students. Thank the directors. I've had a blast. This is so much fun. I do high school all the time, and this was just refreshing. Uh, look different, but I've loved it. They're super, super sweet. And I told them if you ever moved to Lincoln County, um, there's only one high school to choose from. <laughs> I would love to have them, but I don't know, but they like it in Lincoln County, and that's good too. But if you ever move to Lincoln County, I want these children. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing. Okay, give her another round of applause for the middle school band, please. Uh, give, us, give us just a few minutes. We're going to change bands out. We have a couple other things here to do, and then we'll, uh, we'll get the high school band started. So middle school, you can go ahead and start to come down. Okay, I think we got everything settled. Uh, I'm going to do a couple announcement things here, and then we'll get started with the high school band. Uh, the first thing is I would like to recognize all our, our outstanding uh, teachers that we have in this county. I'm very blessed to work with a great group of people, and uh, we're all very close friends, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad for having them. Uh, when I call your name, if you're out here in the audience, wave and be recognized or pop out. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, first, uh, Buffalo Middle School, Mr. Evan White. It's here somewhere. Next, uh, CK Middle School and its assistant here at Spring Valley High School, Ms. Emma Dilley. Next, uh, at Fort Gay Middle and at Tulsa High, Ms. Kelsey Lark Anderson, right down here. 
Uh, next, at Vincent Middle and assistant here at Spring Valley High School is Miss Emily Hall Aloof. <laughs> next, at Wayne Middle School and at Wayne High School, Mr. Tyler Davis. He's in the back. <laughs> and last, I introduced myself earlier. I'm Wes Bullington. I'm the uh, band director here at Spring Valley High School. Now, the, um, I would like to kind of uh, recognize some other things. Uh, first of all, I want to thank our county board office. I see Mr. Alexander in the audience. Thank you, sir, for being here. And is there anybody else uh, I'm missing? Wave at me, okay? Um, I want to thank them and the principals at all the high schools, all the middle schools for giving us this time this week. Um, what you're hearing tonight, the product, Probably about rehearsal time, I'd say maybe about nine hours at the most, okay? These guys put this concert together. We started Tuesday, we had a rehearsal Tuesday night, Thursday, or yesterday evening, and then all today. And all of that couldn't be possible without the help of an awesome administration and an awesome um, county level board office. So give them a round of applause, please, for helping us out. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, we do have some other all-county concerts that are going on. I just want to recognize those, and they will be here also. Our next one is next Friday, um, is our all-county choir concert for high school and middle school, and it will be at 6.30 here on March 24th. Um, our elementary concert will be on March 28th here at 6.30, so if you could come out and support those uh, programs, it would be great. Uh, next, uh, Armstrong Cable is recording all of our uh, all-county concerts, so if you have family that would like to see these, personally, my mother, uh, I send these to her so she could listen to them and such, uh, they will be available on YouTube, and I'll get the link out to the directors to send out to you all. Okay, we're going to move on to our uh, all-county high school, and uh, you guys are in for a treat tonight with this music that they've prepared. Um, their guest conductor, I'm going to read uh, a little info about him. Uh, Dr. Chris Schletter is an educator, conductor, and clinician who has conducted and performed internationally, most notably with the original Broadway cast of Blast and the American uh, Chamber Winds. Christopher is currently the interim director of bands and um, assistant professor of music at Marshall University where he oversees a comprehensive band program, including concert ensembles, the Marching Thunder, the Sixth Man Pep Band. He teaches courses in music education and is a conductor of the Marshall University Wind Symphony. Uh, Chris first served as a director of athletic bands for two years prior to his current appointment at Marshall University. He has been a music educator for 19 years, teaching at the high school and collegiate levels, and has been an active adjudicator and clinician throughout his career, and has also pr um, provided high school band programs with student leadership training. In addition, he has arranged music for high school and collegiate marching bands. And he's gonna like this too, because he's a fellow Florida Gator. So give him a round of applause for Mr. Dr. Chris Schleyer.
Good evening. Thank you all for being here. Uh, this is the uh, Wayne All County Band in front of you. Another round of applause. Uh, uh, concert bands, wind bands have a tradition of playing marches, so it's, it's just fitting that we start with a nice little march by Carl King. Uh, we're going to take you on a little journey here over the next couple of pieces. Uh, the next piece is about um, facing your fear and sometimes putting yourself in discomfort to come out the other end a little bit stronger. Uh, and these students, I think, put themselves in a little bit of discomfort putting themselves in front of me for a couple of days and about nine hours. Um, I, I am a bit of a demanding conductor, director. I taught high school for 12 years in Florida. And uh, these are great high school students and talented high school students. Um, they are doing a fantastic job. I've been around uh, a bit. Uh, I, didn't, I forgot that I've been teaching for 19 years. Um, and this is definitely some of the cream of the crop uh, in the state of West Virginia, and they're doing a fantastic job. So round of applause for them. But as I was saying, uh, sometimes you have to put yourself in, in uncomfortable places and try new things and do things that, that are, are not normal to become a stronger, better person. Um, and music d does that for us, for sure, especially in an experience like this where you have nine hours to put together some fairly difficult music. Uh, and as you can tell, they've already done a great job. This piece is called The Cave You Fear, and you're gonna hear some not so comfortable sounds, which is intentional, okay? Um, most of the time, hopefully, the idea is we come out the side of there's, there's things that we fear in those uncomfortable places uh, to a period of reflection, which is uh, the next tune after that is going to kind of reminisce, be reminiscent of that. And then hopefully we triumph over some of our hardships, which our final number kind of reflects that as well, which I'll talk about when we get there. So this is uh, The Cave You Fear by Marco Makowski.
pretty serious, huh? Uh, the next tune is called, uh, it's, the, the English name is An Ash Grove. It's a Welsh folk rhapsody uh, folk song that you may or may not recognize. Uh, you'll hear it passed around in clarinets and trombones and whatnot. Um, but the title of the piece is Huin On uh, by Brian Hogue, and it's a very reflective pastoral kind of piece. And coming out of a piece like that, we kind of need to take a moment and calm ourselves and reflect. And sometimes just like we're uh, going through life and we have these struggles, sometimes we have to reflect, take a moment on those struggles and figure out how to grow from them. Um, so this is Huin On by Brian Hogue.
I had a big smile on my face halfway through that piece because I was because the trombones did something right. <laughs> no, they're wonderful. I'm a trombone player, so I can make fun of them. Um, I, I want to point something out. Um, and as parents, first of all, thank you for being here. Uh, this organization, any kind of band organization, would not exist without you. Okay, uh, and the support that you show these programs, um, Spring Valley, Tulsa. Uh, um, I'm missing one. Uh, Wayne, Wayne County. Um, these would not exist without the support of the parents. Uh, and the students would not be able to do what they do without the parents. So uh, students on stage and over here, you need to give your parents a round of applause for everything they do for you. I have a, I have a five-year-old and an and a eight-month-old at home. I'm hoping to be a band parent someday. We'll see. Um, Anyway, so the music is really difficult if you don't know. How many of you in the, in the audience, besides you know, the people in black over here, play an instrument? Good, so you have some, some idea of, of how difficult this is. Music cannot be, be you know, kind of eh. It has to be 100%. What's a really good bat batting average? 300, right, 400, that's like 30%. That's a 30%. Ben, can you imagine if we, if we played 30% of the right notes? Exactly. So we're gonna demonstrate something for you. Okay, we're gonna play a scale, just a, just a scale, which most of us are, will recognize as a, just a normal major scale. And we're gonna go up and then come down. All right, here we go. So that's 100%. They played 100% right notes. All the notes were correct. Okay. Now we're going to demonstrate 96%. That's still an A, correct? In every other class, 96%. It's pretty good. Let's hear it. That's 96% right. <laughs> so this is why music is so difficult. You have to reach such a high level performance and work so hard. And that's why in the long term, when these students are out beyond college, they have a job, that's why they're gonna succeed. That's why they're gonna be so amazing at everything they do. And that's why music is worth doing and worth doing well because it makes them understand a high level of ex acceptance, a high level of execution, and they know what it takes to sit for nine hours and work on something in an area and in a time where we have TikTok and we're you know, really excited about eight second videos, okay? But they know what it's like to work hard, put in the time and effort to reach near 100% every time. And that's, that's huge for this, this type of student in this type of environment that we li live in today, in this fast paced, easy access, internet based in, uh, society. So these are gonna be your wonderful, successful people in the, in the future, and you can bank on it. So thank you for your support and allowing them to be here. They would not be here without the parents. They literally wouldn't be here without the parents. But I mean, they, they would not be where they are in life without the parents. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, and please continue to support the arts, support the music, and support them in their endeavor to, to play music. This is our last piece uh, called Where the Black Hawk Soars.
Thank you all. Have a good, good weekend.